All right, let's talk about Yandex. So Yandex is the Russian search engine. And just this past week, there was a big leak of their source code. And this is crazy. This is groundbreaking for SEOs because Yandex is pretty similar to Google. In fact, many of the original Google engineers were recruited by Yandex, went over there, and then built their search engine for them. So we have to imagine that a lot of the same stuff is true in both search engines. So when this source code leaked, SEOs like us can take a look and probably infer a lot of the same stuff is true of Google. So let's look at some of the biggest unlocks we've found from this leak so far. So first of all, user signals, links, relevance of text, and quality are still the biggest four things that we've found in the index leak. This kind of makes sense, and this is what all SEOs inferred of Google, but there's a lot of other really interesting stuff under the covers. For instance, YMYL, or Your Money, Your Life categories, which include legal, finance, healthcare, Yandex actually has 15 individual ranking factors for YMYL. So we have to imagine Google does the same thing, which means again that YMYL categories are gonna continue to be really hard and need to be paid extra attention to if you're in that space. Another interesting bit is that Wikipedia and TikTok have their own individual ranking factors. The thing about Wikipedia is really interesting because a lot of SEOs have long held that Wikipedia links are really important and lo and behold, in Yandex's algorithm, they really, really are. Another really interesting one I saw is that Yandex likes to see that Google Analytics is installed in your site. I guess it infers that if your site is using Google Analytics, it's a pretty sophisticated site, so make sure to have Google Analytics installed on your site. It also apparently likes to see the Facebook JavaScript pixel on your site as well. Again, don't really understand it. It's probably a small ranking factor, but it's probably also because it just shows some level of sophistication. Index's code also showed us that comments and likes are important. So if you've got a blog, make sure to include a comments section at the bottom. Here's one that I thought was interesting. Index looks at your site to understand what country you're in, and it actually upranks sites that are in the country of the searcher. So for example, if you've got a website that you're hosting in Spain and your primary audience is in the United States, you'll have a tougher time ranking than sites that are actually located in the United States. All right, this one's a really interesting nugget. So your keyword ranking across all of your pages actually impacts your individual page keyword ranking. So this is what I mean. Basically, if your site ranks really low for a million keywords, even if you write the best, most quality article on a topic, you're probably gonna have trouble ranking for that given keyword because it sees your entire site as sort of a low ranking entity. So what this means to me is one, if you've got a site with a lot of low ranking pages, you might consider killing those pages and redirecting them so that it shows that your entire site actually has a higher quality or a higher rank factor. Another thing that means to me is start with really uncompetitive keywords if you're just beginning your site. You know, that's obviously gonna make it way easier for you to rank somewhat highly in the beginning, which will then catapult your new pages to rank higher. Another one I saw that was really fascinating. So backlink age matters. That means that backlinks garnered three years ago are superior to backlinks garnered yesterday. So the best time to do backlinking is right now. From the Yandex leak, there's this really peculiar note about percent of organic traffic and percent of traffic. And actually it seems that the more site your traffic has, the higher Yandex views your site. What that means basically is that perhaps paid traffic actually matters. So if you're running a ton of ads to your site, it actually may be beneficial, at least in Yandex's algo. Love this one and totally have thought about this for a long time. And I'm happy to see that it's finally been proven. Readability in the first few paragraphs of an article is actually the most important readability on page. So if your first couple paragraphs are pretty crummy, you're gonna have a really tough time ranking. So if you're gonna spend extra time on anything on your page, make sure it's the first couple paragraphs. Okay, this one's kind of crazy. So Yandex actually downranks any URL that contains a number. So if you're writing a listicle or something, you know, 10 best webinar software tools, blog posts, don't include the number 10 in your URL. Yandex has also shown that it favors shorter URLs to longer ones and ones with less hyphens. So, I mean, this is kind of something we already knew from Google. People always advised us to create shorter URLs, but I guess your URL slug really does need to be kind of short. Okay, Yandex also told us that ads on page matters, so they're gonna downrank pages that have lots of ads. This is kind of a user experience thing, so it makes some sense. Next, videos on pages are helpful. However, broken videos are hurtful. So if you're gonna have videos on your pages, make sure they work. 
Next, varying anchor text. So Yandex doesn't want to see anchor text in internal links and backlinks pointing to your site that is the same across the board. So make sure to switch up your anchor text here and there. Don't use the exact same anchor text every single time you point to a page. Strange one. It actually looks at the number of capitalized letters in the title of your post. I don't really know why that is, but Supposedly, it's a small ranking factor for them. Unsurprisingly, Yandex looks at click-through rate from the search engine results page, and it also looks at time on page and bounce rate. This is kind of unsurprising. There's actually a line item in the algorithm for users that stay on page for over 160 seconds. So again, keep users on page at all costs by providing them really great content. So Yandex's search engine isn't an exact replica of Google, but the over 1,900 lines of Yandex code that were leaked do really show us a lot. And it's probably one of the best ways that SEOs can infer what Google's algorithm is all about. I think this is really, really helpful and it's something that I'm gonna continue paying attention to. And so you better believe we're gonna build a lot of that Yandex information into Growth Bar. Growth Bar is the number one tool for SEO content optimization. So we're gonna build a lot of those Yandex learnings into the tool. Try Growth Bar today. You can get a five-day free trial. Go to growthbarseo.com.